Hi YouTube, this is Laminar Flow with another update for my build on my 125 gallon display with the basement sump. So I had a plan for all this. That manifold was going to come down to you off to the right with all the things coming down. But it kept bumping into the pipe coming up here and that was no good. So I said, what if I just bring it straight down and pull the taps off on the side? So I'm kind of inspired. That's where I'm headed. I've got uh, sort of a plan in my head that I formulated with about four hours on a tractor yesterday. Uh, but the plant's changing as I go. So we'll see how we do. Here you see my plan's a lot less formal than it was last time. Yeah, it's just a little quick sketch on a note off of my desk. I'm going to walk you through a series of pictures, show you the process that I went through. Did a lot of dry fitting. Very difficult uh, with lots of different connections to get the dry fit to actually fit correctly uh, because when you glue you tend to get deeper into the components than you do uh, when you're just when you're just dry fitting. But there's a little bit of an evolution. Uh, dry fit, adjust, glue a couple of things that are uh, restricting and uh, move through. Okay, I'm ready for my initial test of the sump. I'm just going to do it with salt water. I had a brainchild that said, hey, I'll just use RODI, so if I have a problem, I've got to throw it out. At least I'm not throwing out salt. So I'm going to fill this guy with water. Pump's going to run. I'm going to come up through the valve. I've got the tank upstairs turned off, and I'm going to run up through my manifold up to the top, back down and fill on the other side. Should be able to get to see how the flow goes through the uh, through the sump. Gonna run you through the filling process here, fast motion. Otherwise it's kind of like watching paint dry. Pulling the RODI out of the bucket, into the pump chamber, up and across through the manifold, and into the sump. First chamber filled. Oop. I have a little bit of a distraction. I don't think they like it. What's wrong? What is wrong? Alright. Alright, back to filling. It pretty much forced me into a voiceover here because the woofing went on for a good five minutes of this no way I was gonna put that through for everybody to have to listen to. So you can see I'm filling up a big chamber. I'm near the bottom of my 30 gallon barrel. I actually had to throw an extra five gallons of RODI into the bucket in order to get myself there. So it's about 35 gallons total. Water volume when all of the compartments are full. Yep, that's it. Okay, we're full. To keep this from being crazy long, I'm gonna cut off here and I'll give you an update on my testing process and explain what all those connections are for in my next video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to see more in this series.